What's going on, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen? It's Chuck, also known as Ask a Capper, bringing you some of my clip show, and I hope you guys enjoy this one. Just some funny things that happened to me while I've been gaming the last week or so. Now, this one was pretty interesting because last time you saw me shooting a car trying to set it off so I could see how many bullets it took, because that sometimes using cars to kill guys is funny. And here I see a guy and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna shoot the car. Worked out perfectly. <laughs> Gotta love the car bombs. He's like, oh no. Oh no. Oh no, I love... He actually knew that once it started flaming to get away. You're done. Sit down, son. Oh, he's handicapped. <laughs> I just enjoyed that one. This one is the epically slow turn on. Get slowly turned on, son. That's just rough. <laughs> How did you miss me? How did you miss me? I just don't know. Somebody with a riot shield coming at the capper, you know? Look, buddy. We know there's a multiplier for the toes. You done, son. Come at me. I'm the riot shield master. I know that you shoot the feet, and that's how you kill people. With the riot shield. I've been killed enough. So that's pretty funny, because anytime I get to, like, whack somebody in the face with a riot shield, with my face, because that's so hard to do. I loved it. And then I got killed. Great, thanks a lot. But this was the most interesting thing that happened is like, be careful where you throw your ballistic vest because when you throw them into walls, which happens regularly, you can't grab them. I'm like, come on, please. Just give me one, I just want my ballistic, what the heck? So make sure when you throw in your ballistic vest, little pro tip, drop them on the ground, like right here. That's a good spot. <laughs> Out in the open. There is definitely a key to being strategic where you drop your ballistic vests. Now this one was funny because I love these battles I have because my goal as a riot shielder is to stall somebody from pushing on an objective or whatever. But if occasionally get the kill. So I threw down my bouncing Betty and I wanted to back up because I knew he was going to start throwing grenades or whatever. And I wanted to keep my Betty alive and I did, which was cool. Here's another angle on it. Just an epic confrontation. Yo, come at me, bro. But yeah, I'm like, I got to back through the door because I know he's going to throw a nade and it's going to blow up my Betty and I don't want that to happen. So back through the door. He obviously forgot about the Betty. <laughs> Goodbye. You're done. Had some fun. Now, this was something I do all the time. I wasn't running smoke in this one. I was running um, the flashbangs because I was trying to get a challenge. But I lay down with the riot shield when I throw my smoke so that I have a lower profile. But here it worked out perfectly because the guy was shooting me in the back. And I was able to turn and save it and cap the flag. Ask a cap in the flag. That's what I was doing. That's how I roll. And one more epic battle. I love these shield battles because it's like I always try to figure how can I get the person. Plus, you just make mad XP off of it, you know? 50 points? Oh, so good. Yep, got a riot shield. I don't usually get any double tap riot shield kills. But see, that's what I love, man. Just being able to, like, hold an objective for my team. Get on there. Keep somebody from being able to cap a flag or whatever. That's the riot shield job. Bang, you're done. Ask a Kappa, killed ya. And then finally, this is the way you kill a ride shield guy. To the face with a rocket launcher. Game on gamers. And as always, put Reese's Pieces in your creases. Slave.